In this demo, we'll take a look at the whole simulation process from reading in the geometry, setting up the model in FEMAP, running the analysis using NX Nastran, and looking at the results in FEMAP again. First of all, we'll read in a parasolid geometry file of a bracket component. FEMAP being CAD neutral can read in geometry from just about any source. We'll set the geometry scale to a value that suits metric units and click OK. And here we see the basic geometry model of the component. We'll apply constraints to the model by fixing the lower four holes. We can define the constraint sets straight off the model tree. Give it a name. and set up the definitions by actually selecting the inside surfaces of the four holes. Click OK, make sure the fixed is set for the constraint type, and click OK again. Now you can see that the inner surfaces are displaying the constraint symbols. Next we'll set up the loading. Zoom into the top part of the model, and in the model tree we can define the load set. Give it a name. Set up definitions in a similar way to the constraints. This time we're just selecting the top face and we'll apply a pressure of 10 newtons per millimeter squared in this case. With loads and constraints applied, the next action is to turn the geometry model into a finite element model for analysis. And we do that by meshing the geometry to create the nodes and elements. This, being a fairly chunky solid model, will create the analysis model automatically using the tetrahedra element mesher. First of all though, we need to know the thickness of the web to give us an idea of element sizing. And we can see that the thickness is 3 millimeters using the measuring tool. Therefore we'll set the default mesh size to 2, with two elements minimum through the thickness to ensure accurate results. So now we can mesh the geometry to create the simulation model. However, in order to do that, FEMAP needs to know more information about the material of the component, and prompts us accordingly. For this demo, I will simply pick up a standard material property from the library, that of stainless steel, and now we're ready to mesh. With meshing completed, FEMAP has created over 61,000 nodes with over 33,000 tetra elements. Cleaning up the display to show elements only allows us to get a clearer view of the mesh. And the mesh looks pretty good. So now we need to set up the analysis, for which we'll use NX Nastran as the solver. By clicking Analyses in the model tree, we can create a new analysis set. Specify statics as the analysis type, check the boundary conditions, and that the loads and constraint sets have been picked up. Let's edit the output requests. For this example, I just want displacements and stresses, so we'll switch the others off, and we're ready to submit the model for analysis. First though, I'll save what I've done so far in the new FEMAP model file. Then set the analysis off to run using NX Nastran. When the analysis is running, you can see the analysis monitor appear which allows access to the NX Nastran output files, letting you monitor progress while the analysis is actually running. 
When NXNASTRAN completes the analysis, the results are automatically loaded into FEMAP in an output set for post-processing. We can get rid of the analysis monitor now and select a contour plot, which, by default, shows von Mises stresses on the solid elements. We can also switch on the deform shape. Note that this is exaggerated. We can also show the undeformed shape and set the deform plot to show actual deformations. I'll just turn the model around and show one more of the many post-processing tools in FEMAP, the dynamic cutting plane. This allows us to view stress contours of the interior of the model. And that's a brief overview of a static analysis of a solid component using FEMAP with NX-NASTRAN.